My Little Pony has a bit of a reputation for basically being a toy brand first and a TV show second. However, a lot of their toys are pretty strange to say the least. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at 5 of the weirdest differences between the show version and toy versions of the characters. Note that this list will not include any examples of different character stylizations from the show because that's not really an inconsistency, that's just different brands doing their thing. Applejack differs from other ponies from the series thanks to her signature hat. However, almost every toy version of Applejack does not come with a hat, which just kind of looks empty. I think that this might be because a bunch of these minifigures are all recolors, meaning that if the Applejack model had a hat, they wouldn't be able to recolor it. But then again, some Applejack toys that are not recolors also don't have the hat. What makes this even more confusing to me is how when Applejack is given a hat, it's usually blue instead of brown. On the topic of inconsistencies in color, a lot of toys of Princess Celestia are pink instead of her usual white coat. I imagine this is because pink just sells better as a toy for little girls than white would, though it is pretty frustrating how they get a basic color like that wrong. Though there's a lot more show actor versions of Celestia as you can see here, but it is pretty odd seeing how the boxes clearly show her as being white when the giant toy inside the box is clearly pink. For some reason, some merchandise of Spike has him crawling on all fours. I don't recall Spike ever being on all fours in the entire show, and I really don't have a clue as to why they made toys of him like this. I think they might have designed him like this to give Twilight a pet or something for kids who like giving their toys pets, but I, I really have no other guess other than that. Remember the Dazzlings from Rainbow Rocks? You know how even though we mostly see them as humans, their equestrian counterparts are actually sirens and not ponies? Well, the box art for their dolls seem to depict them as ponies rather than sirens, even though, you know, they're not ponies. I guess it makes sense why they would do this, since I don't think having these on the cover would sell as well as ponies would. However, then the question is, why would they even put the pony version here at all? To top it all off, Adagio had two instances of this, as they designed her once as a unicorn and once as an earth pony. At least Hanada, when she was seen on this card, she remained as an earth pony. And as for the weirdest inconsistency in this list, we have this pony. You might be confused on who this even is, but according to the card it comes with, this is supposed to be Sapphire Shores. You might not remember Sapphire Shores since she only appears in like two episodes, but one look at her show design will instantly make you do a double take. The toy version has different colored hair, a different shape, and no clothes or a hat. But strangest of all, the Sapphire Shores in the show is an earth pony, but this figure is a unicorn. At this point, you might be thinking that these are just two completely different characters who happen to share the same name as each other. So I realized that the best way to really know this for sure would be to compare their cutie marks. Unfortunately, it seems as if the people who designed Sapphire Shores just really loved going out of their way to not show her cutie mark, though this toy version of her has her cutie mark shown in plain view. Unfortunately, every picture of the minifigure version is either pretty low quality or has bad lighting, so it's pretty hard to tell if they're the same one. Though, from what I can make out, they seem to be slightly different, though they both have a clam shell shape that I think is similar enough for them to be the same character. Luckily though, we ended up getting a much more show accurate version of her in the Friendship is Magic collection, but unfortunately, she's still missing her funny little hat. And that'll do it for today's video, of course there are other inconsistencies in the world of My Little Pony Toys. Feel free to let me know down in the comments if you know of any, and I might make a part 2 to this video. And also I want to take this time to thank you guys so much for like 200 subscribers, just from uploading one video. I mean, I'm really thankful that you guys took the time to watch it and stuff. I'll be making a lot more My Little Pony content, so feel free to stick around if that interests you. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.